the beautiful Mount Millery. Just can't get any better than that. Look at that. That's a hairpin and a half. The beautiful Mount Millery. I did a video here before. Um, but it's been a while since I've been up here. And we're gonna go into the restaurant or the cafe. We're gonna have something to eat. Um, there's a bush down there actually as well. I'll show you. It's um, a memorial for bikers. There's a plaque down there as well. I'll show you that. Um, it's a gorgeous day. It's about 22, I'd say 21, 22 degrees. As as you can see, the scenery. I come out your way. The scenery is breathtaking, to say the least. So the restaurant cafe is not open yet, but it's open soon. There's a ton of people at the front there. So we're just we're waiting for that. Um, we're gonna go back down to the grotto as well. We're gonna get some holy water. You used to always get holy water from Mam when I was up mm. around. So it'd be nice to bring it back home. And um, I'm sure she'll be, she'll be happy to get some back into the house. Um, she's not here in the physical, but she's here in the spirit. But um, yeah, that's why I came up here. to say a little prayer in church and stuff like that. So while we're waiting, I was at the Dungarden bike meet on Thursday. So, I'll show you a little clip of that. Cafe closed. Oh, it's open soon, is it? Perfect. Well, well, how are my you? My first customer today. Ah, lovely stuff. Good stuff. Um, I'll have a tea, please. A pot of tea. No bother. Big pot of tea, actually. Big pot of tea? Yeah. Pot, is that a big one? Yeah, that'll do, That's yeah. Nice. That'll do for me. fountain there let's ch chill out um yeah food is lovely so we're gonna head over now to um the abbey we're gonna have a look inside and um show you in there and then see where we go from there okay so let's head over to the abbey first all right so done in the abbey done in the cafe so I'm going to show you for anybody who didn't see the previous video um, that I done up here the Boykers Memorial there's a Boyker mass up here every year haven't been to it yet um, definitely on my list to do but for now we'll show you here so it's down by the tree down here it's down here turn the camera around down here so you just take the walk up from over here and it's here so the bike of remembrance tree and on the 17th of september here it is there all those bikers have fallen right free it says so it's a beautiful little tribute um the last time i was up here i was talking to one of the monks and he had bikes years ago and one of the gardeners actually caretakers had a bike as well um, I never had a look at it in the shed. I was hoping he'd be around today, but I didn't see him. But yeah, there's a good biking tradition up here. So it's nice to have that. And then there's ribbons on the trees. Stuff like that. You know, there's different ribbons and stuff like that. I think it's people's cut off people's jackets and stuff like that as well. You can see them up there. So that's really, really nice to have. And I've just noticed, um, I think that's... A monkey puzzle tree. Do you remember I was looking for one of those 
on my road adventures last month was it or the month before monkey puzzle tree isn't that mad that's the tree that we're looking for in it and it's dedicated to bikers so really cool connection there as well but yeah the day is fantastic the view as you can see is just amazing no matter whether you're into your religion or not it's still absolutely stunning and the landscape behind it is absolutely beautiful as well and uh, it's just a place of real peace and uh, serenity and I was talking to a guy there he was telling me all about his bikes he was on years ago and all that kind of stuff as well I was talking to different people as well so I'm just drawn to chatting away to people or whatever I must have a easy to get on my face <laughs> Magic about the V is actually over there where you can see Waterford, Tipperary and Cork I think um, from one point so that's the magic of the V but I'm going to show you something else cool up here I'm bringing up here first I'm a glutton for punishment because it's roasting but we have to go up there it's too good not to tell you um, so let's have a look up there first Right, so it's either this one up here or over there. Um, apparently, I think it is someone's buried upside down. Um, I don't know why. I have to Google it. <laughs> and the internet is crap up here. So, um, unless it's written up here, I think someone's buried upside down or something like that. So that they could see the whole place or. I don't know, I could see the whole place upside down. But, um, uh, let's have a look. Nah. Uh, and stuff. There's definitely a story to this. Um, I know Susan's probably screaming at it now. Tell me what the story is. Because she's probably told me about ten times, I'd say. But, um, yeah, I think someone's buried. Either down there, there, or in here. I think someone was buried upside down or something like that. Anyway, um, I'll I'll put up the history of it here when I when I Google it in the edit, little behind the scenes there. Um, but um, yeah, Whew, that's in there, me, and I'm fit. Whew. So yeah. Let's get back on the bike. There's a lake down there, but I'm not walking down with the gear. I actually said that and I didn't believe myself. But I don't want to walk down there in the gear. I don't know how long it is or how far it is. If it's not too far, what I'll do is I'll go for a spin over there, right to the, to the point so you can see Waterford, Tipperary and Cork. And then I'll see if the lake is walkable from here. I have to get a lake for the road adventures but to be honest with you it doesn't bother me it's only a point I'm going to be sweating nuts off now just for a point to have all the silver anyway um, yeah oh dry stone wall <laughs> points never end uh, yeah look at that people love walking up that lunatics well yeah you have to wear shorts and very light runners yeah stun listen is that a V I think that's a V there isn't it like a V. So that's what we thought today.
you happy with them? <laughs> Look at that. That's a hairpin and a half. The kind gentleman took my picture as well. I'll put it up there as well. You don't often get pictures yourself that you're not doing selfies for. So, delighted with that. But look at this road. Look at this. Look at that. That's a hairpin and a half. So, we're going to head down that road. And it's actually going to be a beautiful drive down the road. I, w I wish I had a drone. <laughs> because it would be so cool to have a drone of uh, yourself heading down. But if I come up with the lads someday, I might get in the video me down. I'll get a drone myself. Look at that. Just can't get any better than that. So glad I took that turn and took the V. Still have a bit of bit of time anyway before I have to go home, but stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The roads are just like like a biker said to me back there, he said, people are going about Europe and you go all over Europe and for these roads, he said, we have them in our backyard, you know, and we need to use them more as well, which is true is absolutely true so I'm gonna head down here head down the hairpin head down this road and um, yeah cool let's go let's do it So we've come to the end of the video and um, I hope you really enjoyed the video not just the views but the roads themselves as well so I was enjoying the views but the roads are tricky as well and um, I'm not experienced on roads like this and there was a few times I was biting my lip I'll be honest <laughs> where um, the road kind of gets you to, to speed up and put your, put your foot down a bit or twist your arm a bit more and um, yeah I had to slow down a bit there Lucky enough the brakes are working <laughs> but it's all experience so I uh, just took it easy then but the views are absolutely spectacular it's a stunning day out as I said a million times in this video already but it is it's August just near the end of August actually um, is it the 31st of August it's the last day in August yeah the roads are just <whistles> different level up here going around those hairpins as well um, they take a bit of getting used to as well. There's a hairpin that I done on the bike charity one about two years ago, um, on the way to um, on the way to Cork, I think, and um, Kappa, I think, and they were that was testing and it was lashing out of heaven as well. But it was dry today, so um, I must get more experience on those as well. And um, yeah, it's just a fantastic day out. I hope you enjoyed it. The scenery, like I said. I thought there's usually food vans up there, or just some food trucks, there weren't any food trucks. Um, the lake was a bit too far, I was enjoying the um, scenes everywhere else, so I didn't go to the lake. Maybe the next time I come up I might go to the lake, when it's a little less warm, let's see. But, all in all, wonderful, wonderful day. We're back out on the road, really enjoying the sunshine, and until the next time, DR. 
they should have been out. So we've come to the end of the video. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Not just the views, but the roads themselves as well. So I was enjoying the views, but the roads are tricky as well. Um, I'm not experienced on roads like this. And there was a few times I was biting my lip, I'll be honest. <laughs> or, um, the road kind of gets you to, to speed up and put your, put your foot down a bit, or twist your arm a bit more. And um, yeah, I had to slow down a bit there. Lucky enough, the brakes are working. <laughs> But it's all experience, so I uh, just took it easy then, but the views are absolutely spectacular. It's a stunning day out, as I said a million times in this video already, but it is. It's August, just near the end of August actually. Um, is it the 31st of August? It's the last day in August, yeah? Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning out. The roads are just <whistles> different level up here. Going around those hairpins as well. Um, they take a bit of getting used to as well. There's a hairpin that I done on the bike charity one about two years ago, um, on the way to um, on the way to Cork, I think, and um, Kappa, I think, and they were that was testing and it was lashing out of heaven as well. But it was dry today, so um, I must get more experience on those as well. And um, yeah, it's just a fantastic day out. I hope you enjoyed it. The scenery, like I said. I thought there's usually food vans up there or just some food truck. There weren't any food trucks. Um, the lake was a bit too far. I was enjoying the um, scenes everywhere else. So I didn't go to the lake. Maybe the next time I come up I might go to the lake when it's a little less warm, let's say. But all in all, wonderful, wonderful day. We're back out on the road, really enjoying the sunshine. And until the next time, DR, they shall rebel out.